It was the first visit to Philadelphia's Du Cheminet restaurant for Samuel Young and his wife, Riza. And after the meal, Chef Fritz Blank came grumbling by to join them for a few minutes. Despite his rant, though, his eyes were merry, and he left the table with a joke about the tears of the city's chefs. Joining us this morning to talk about that experience and his book, Chef Fritz and His Crazy City, is author Samuel Young. Samuel, thank you for joining us. This thank you. This like a really, really interesting read. Um, so, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about the book, and more importantly, who is Chef Fritz? Chef Fritz is a, uh, an amazing uh, individual, even for a, for a chef. I mm -hmm. think chefs are quite special people, but um, Chef uh, Fritz has brought even more to his work. Mm -hmm. He was a scientist, a microbiologist, before he became a chef. No kidding. <clears throat> so, there's a lot of food science in the book. Uh -huh. um, and uh, he's uh, also a food historian, mm -hmm. uh, and he is a great supporter of the arts. Mm -hmm. Quite a, a a guy with very broad interests. Yeah, and I just like found it. him fascinating. That's great. So, what prompted you to write a book about him? I started taking classes from him because I wanted to learn to cook. Mm -hmm. uh, none of the men in my family had. Uh, it wasn't the thing you did yeah. in my family. You, you and me both. Yeah. Um, so I, I think I'm first generation, and I don't even think I'm that good first generation. And my wife and I were at a certain point. Her, her, she had a business going. She didn't have much time for the kitchen, so if I wanted to eat, learn to cook. Mm -hmm. So, in connection with this, right here. in connection with uh, the visit to his restaurant, mm -hmm. I learned that he was giving classes to the University of Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and started going mm -hmm. and going and going and going because it was so interesting. Yeah. And that was just the, the, the inspiration to, to share this book uh, about him and his city. And also, I mean, you know, I always, I always think that if you really want to learn about a city and culture, you, you start with their food. Right? Absolutely right. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. right. So is, do you, is that kind of a reflection of this? Because it is Schifferts and his city. Yes. So that's his co-star, is Philadelphia, is that yes, right? Yes, it is. Philadelphia is the co-star. And um, because Fritz was one of the chefs that brought the city back mm -hmm. from a very kind of low period mm -hmm. in the 50s and 60s when they lost a lot of business, mm -hmm. uh, when there was a lot of flight to the suburbs. And um, Sh uh, Fritz and a few other chefs like Georges Perrier really brought the city back, brought life to the center city. Mm -hmm. And um, it was called the, the restaurant renaissance. Mm -hmm. That's great. And so you, you've been here in New Mexico for about four years. Yes. I understand you came out because of a grandchild. That's correct. That's the best reason to move right there, my friend. It's paid off. It's paid off. That's <laughs> great. Well, so, uh, I mean, this sounds like a very interesting experience, a great read. And uh, I, I really encourage uh, readers to get this. So head over to casa.com, click on the style tab. We will have links to Chef Fritz and his city.com, as well as more information on where you can pick up a copy of this book. Samuel, thank you so much thank for you. sharing your story. Appreciate it.